going on, guys? Uh, I've been trying to get a hold of Throttle Max. Uh, I don't know, guys, about a week and a half, two weeks. And uh, I've, I've watched their uh, Honda Pioneer pedal that they have. Um, it's been out of stock for a while. And I've, I've reached out trying to uh, get up with them. And um, possibly, it depends how this works. But if uh, theirs doesn't come in stock any soon, I'm not gonna worry about it. If it does, I might buy it. But for the meantime, I spent $9 on this, $2 on this, this little uh, U bracket. I'm gonna try to make my own. And pretty simple as a hinge. Cut it with a grinder, slit it. I'm gonna, I know how theirs is designed, it has slits right there. Cut it off, put a slit down the middle with a grinder. Um, got the little U bolt, it's gonna bolt it on up drill some holes in there and probably do some serrations or something like that to help a little bit of grip but I'm just gonna make my own um, I went riding the bogs uh, a while back in October and it was like I don't know we went right for like five or six hours straight and, my, and that was after that was Saturday night so my leg was like killing me uh, I'm six three six four right around there um, and so in the cabin this I don't have a whole lot of leg room it's uh not adjustable seat, so you know the leg room's a little different, or, you know, for shorter for uh, taller people. And uh, that throttle max pedal would have saved me. And I was looking at, actually, I guess I've been looking for it for a while now because it was before that trip I wanted it, and they're still out of stock. So, um, hell, I'm gonna try to make my own. Uh, just like I said, a little zinc, uh, eight inch hinge I got from Ace Hardware, and then it's a uh, U bracket here, it was like two bucks. I have the Product numbers or pictures of them, you know, uh, throw them in the description so you can see what to look for. Like I said, I'm just going to get a grinder. It's going to be simple. I'm going to cut it off, drill a few holes for this, put a slit in here so it'll slide up on the pedal, and then maybe do some more holes or some kind of serrations and then bend this end here. Standard tools. I got my grinder i gotta grab my drill some drill bits we're gonna drill in the holes but just to give you kind of a reference of what we're gonna go with um it's about eight inches to the center of this i'm gonna come out if you get about the same one about the top of this hole is four inches i'm gonna cut right here and i'm just spitballing literally spitballing on this cut the top of this hole and i'm gonna make my slit down the center of it and I'll go from there and then somewhere I think I'm going to drill me a hole right here and this is what's going to wrap around the, the, the pedal bar itself to hold this on. Right, so there's that. And we're going to cut our slip. The metal on the pedal looks about like this length width, so I'm going to cut it a little bit more, clean it up on the edges, and then uh, we'll go see if it fits. Alright, so this is the attempt number two. And voila! It fits. And that should be full throttle all the way there. Now see, that's why you have to bend the edge. You get caught. Watch, I'll we'll see. Let's see, it's getting caught up on that, so we'll cut this and bend it some. But, uh, yep, with the, now we got the, on this one we have the, uh, the hinge part up, and, uh, it's still able to go full throttle, so, that's a good thing, it's full throttle, nothing's even touching it. This is going to be the final product. Slides up there really nice. And this little U bracket, the nuts are a 11 millimeter. Turn 
gotta be in the camera's way. Don't forget to add this. We're gonna add this right there on top of that. Take the bolts off and that's where that goes. And I'll keep that from sliding that way, which there's a lot of the, the metal underneath here. We'll keep it from sliding off, but we'll put that just in case. Yep, there you go, just like that. Add that little bracket and there's no way that thing can come off. We'll piece up just a little bit, as you can see. There you go. And like I said, you can actually put that all the way up. It's not hitting. So if you wanted to get like a little bungee and put up there, hold it back if you don't want to use it or you got the options of using it. I kind of just got the grinder blade and just roughed that up a little bit. But, uh, ain't going nowhere. Under $20, make your trail riding pedal. And uh, now just to put some time behind it and try it out and see if I like it or not. All right, if you're from Florida, you know what logging trails are. Got my my uh, NFO pedal commander. That's right. I'm kidding. All right, so we got a logging trail. I'm going to try to do some steady driving for you using it. Um, I rode down the road a while ago, and it really did good. So I'm going to, and you can see this road. I'm going to try to get it consistent. Let's see, eight. Nine miles an hour, 10, 11. I mean, I'm balancing all over the place. Just trying to get a consistent speed, but it's not uh, jerking. If you can listen to the motor, we're shifting, but we're not jerking um, around with the throttle. It's smooth because you got the foot down there on it. Not moving around, and we smooth on out here 12 13 miles an hour. There you go, pretty cool. So, this is uh, really uh, just for the Honda Pioneer 700. Um, it might also work for the 500, I believe. The pedal uh, on their website works for both, but uh, hopefully, this helps somebody out. That's why I do this stuff, just to help people out and uh, give you a good idea. Maybe you want to try something on your own. Appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe like always. Have a great day.